The overall goal of this procedure is to determine gene or protein function by disrupting normal expression patterns of your gene or protein of interest. This is accomplished by first making the agarose mold and injection needles. The second step of the procedure is to collect Midaka embryos at the one cell stage. The third step of the procedure is orienting one cell stage embryos in the correct position for injection. The final step of the procedure is injecting cell tracers, mRNAs or antisense oligonucleotides into the one cell stage Midaka embryos. Ultimately, results can be obtained through microscopic observation that show morphological, physiological or molecular changes associated with the protein affected by the substance injected. Hi, I'm Sean Porozinski from the lab of Dr. Makoto Furutani-Siki in the Department of Biology and Biochemistry at the University of Bath. I'm Hui Jia Wang, also from the Furutani-Siki lab. Today we'll show you a procedure for the microinjection of Madaka embryos with cell tracers, mRNAs and antisense oligonucleotides. We use this procedure in our lab to study the function of gene of interest in vivo at a single cell level. So let's get started. Unlike zebrafish, male and female madaka can easily be distinguished by their dimorphic fins. Female fins have a round shape with a smooth margin. Both the anal and dorsal fins of the male are larger than those of the female, and the dorsal fin has a deep notch between the last two rays. Keep a mating pair of midaka in a mating tank with or without water flow. This pair can be kept in the tank with running water for up to two months for daily injection.